Hello everybody and welcome to my office. My name is Cassandra Vaynerchuk and I wanted to come on today to talk about business and building a brand and how people generally don't understand what it means to build a brand for themselves and then learning the distinction of a brand as a business, knowing the difference between the two and then evolving a community into knowing how to do that. Now, we've had some b brands in the past, like Coca-Cola, or I'm trying to think of another one. No. Coca-Cola always comes to the forefront because I'm familiar with the product, obviously. I, I live in Georgia, so I've been to the Coca-Cola factory several times to know and see kind of the, not only that, but like the commercials. I would say Pepsi has done a decent job However, they've kind of, they're not as strong in their brand as Coca-Cola. McDonald's with Ronald McDonald has done a great job. Hang on, my dog's going to annoy me. She always does this when I'm trying to do videos. Anybody else have that problem? Like she's uncomfortable with the content or something. It's very strange. Anyway, um, building a brand is being yourself. And then having an interest in something to capture the attention of people who are also open and interested into the thing that you're trying to educate and entertain as a part of. So it's creating an interest in an interest graph of education and entertainment of grounded living to create enjoyment for yourself and for others. However, what people have done in today's world is they've created lust and the seven deadly sins as a brand. And then everybody captured in that sexual energy of nasty. And so everybody on the internet is trying to be in one big orgy of seduction. Uh. Then they try to victimize themselves. They victimize themselves and then they post videos of themselves erotically sitting in the back of a limousine with a black dude next to her while they erotically aggravate an audience. So this is a, who I'm talking to specifically right now is Kendall Jenner. She goes onto a platform. She looks like a weird ass person. She is unattractive. She's been unattractive since the day she was born. And so then she got all this plastic surgery and work done, which now is making her look like a, a penguin. And then she talks about it. So she wants to build the brand off of her looks. And then when people judge her looks, she's the victim. That's a very disempowering place for an audience to watch. Watching you cry your little bitch ass eyes out over something that you did to yourself. And then what she does to remind you of her status shows you her bag. Reminding you of my status. That's brand for these people. And then you just kind of go, oh yeah, and then you move on. However, when you want something in a form of, you know you have something to offer, it can get you furious. And the long-term effects of watching these Kardashians be, the, be the, the space of what entertainment is, is the downfall of entertainment. It's not practical. Let's talk about the resources that are lit up in the form of the resources of what are being sucked dry off the land of the United States, off the global land, so that we all end up in a desert. Because that's another angle of what these people are doing, is they're taking all of our light that we work hard for. See, what they don't understand is, and this is, I always bring this example up, is the bodybuilding show, you all look at that photo and you get jealous of that photo. But you don't know the years I put in behind that photo to get myself to that place. I didn't lie on a table and get a massage or starve myself. I set alarms in my phone. I worked out for two hours a day for over a year. I worked out since I was 14. I learned yoga practice. I learned self and professional developmental work. I learned strength to get on that stage, not to make other people feel bad, to empower myself, and then you made the decision and the choice to be jealous of it. Instead of being inspired by it, but that's also a direct reflection of people like who? 
Kim Kardashian and Mona Van who've never worked a day in their life and they do not understand what it means to be successful. Now I won awards on that runway that day. However, those awards didn't mean shit to me because guess where those, those medals are? In the trash. I put those medals in the trash because that didn't matter to me. What mattered to me is I put in the effort, I did the work, I showed up, and I was rewarded for it in my own way, my own validation of knowing that I put in the work and the satisfaction that comes along with it, not needing any one of your validation for it, but reminding you every time you see that photo that that's what it looks like to build a brand. A strong brand on a house of cement. Not a house on sand where you have a diamond that you're constantly showing off, where you use uh, lighting and erotica to amuse an audience into submission. Now, see, when you look at that photo, one of the reasons why you get lit up is because you are disempowered in your life. You don't have anything to offer. The only thing you have to offer is your body. And then you go on a stage like Chrissy Teigen and say, my body, my choice. My body, my choice? It's not our choice, it's not our choice, because you think you're better than us, you've got the, the clout and the media formation around you to push that agenda onto us as if your private parts is more important than my infant. While you then talk about reproductive freedom and then Kamala Harris gives you a pat on the back. Wow, what a woman standing up for women. Don't trust women. I mean, it's amazing to me that you all forgot what it was like to be in high school with these women. And now they have a platform to reach millions of people. Your trailer park trash, your overweight people, the demonic mindset is being exposed to the level of exposure beyond we, all that we even know. The devil is in our faces. And what are you doing about it? Giving them BJs? making more Billie Eilish viral videos as she goes against the American country. You want to understand that a celebrity like Anne Hathaway, like Lady Gaga, like that other one, anyone who speaks out against Trump is a traitor to this country because the people spoke when they voted for him to be placed into office. And that's when all hell broke loose because you got caught. Notice how who is supporting this Biden administration, that is their brand. Trannies, death to children, provocative, brothel, weird ass conversation associated to Palestinians. Go watch MSNBC, go watch CBS, go watch NBC, and you'll actually see what the real shit is in live formation of a Ponzi scheme of destruction for you as middle class and anyone beneath them. Now, those are terms that the Democrats use because they're just using you as their soldiers to where you will stay in your failure zone because you like collecting your little welfare check. Where the hell do you think they're getting the money from to pay welfare? You have no appreciation for your welfare check and you definitely don't do anything in the form of doing right by other people while you get in your free ride. And I assure you that Section 8 Welfare, food stamps is all based on the skin color of your free ride, which is the payment of slavery that you proclaim you deserve. See, the reason why you never grow as people is because you live in your formation of a brand that the box of the Democrats of what they put you in. Biden used it as a weapon against you. You don't know the feeling of satisfaction because you're never doing anything more than abusing other people. Then you cry victim. It's all over your platform. It's all over your podcasts. There are literally people who have given a silver spoon up their ass like Michelle Obama, like Obama himself, and they're telling you that they're the victims. You're the victim? No, we're the victims. We white folk are the victim of a black cult because guess what? That is your brand. See, what's good for the goose ain't good for the gander and that is the Democrat brand. 
The fact that you actually think Democrats and Republicans have a brand is a fucking concern. The fact that you think that you have a self-serving, self-righteous ability to uh, finagle an election based on seduction is the brand? What the fuck? You want to watch how to build a brand and battle people who don't want to watch other people succeed? Watch Gary Vaynerchuk and myself build the brand off of a children's toy that the, the government wanted to use as a weapon. Understand that and you'll understand how challenging it is to build a biggest building. Not wearing a fancy outfit in a uh, setting where you're saying, the most important thing to do at VCon is find something to wear. I can't believe she's here. Well, that's real team effort to grow for children. But let me look erotic as I pose and hold and touch and kiss and tongue. Understand the undercover operation that we're dealing here. Understand the undercover operation that Gary and myself and Donald Trump and the rest of the people that are up to the good shit have been divulging to you on a regular basis, yet you still only see what, SEX? You really think that's going to advance yourself into a future of success? Maybe short term, but I assure you when you hit 60 years old, the depleted amount of energy that you've given to Mona Van, to Kim Kardashian, to all these pieces of shit who've done nothing but rob you will leave you destitute and homeless on the street, just like the millions of Californians where Newsom stole billions of dollars from the American people to put in his friend's pockets. That's a brand. Yet there California goes again, voting for the blue again. No, that's the corruption of the Hollywood sector because guess what they want? They want orgies. They want to deplete children's lives in California. And I remind you that guess who was born in California? And I know the energy of California. And I am living in the energy of California. And I have a collaboration with Georgia and New York and Colorado and Virginia. And the list goes on and on because I'm an American citizen. And I understand what it means to be united and to be compassionate and empathy for those living in different regions of this country because there is such thing as state culture that has everything to do with leadership. And I assure you that the Constitution, the First Amendment right of freedom of speech is everything that I'm up to on my platform across all platforms. However, the Democrat system do not understand what that is, which means they are violating our civil rights, which means that we are the victims. When you can wake up and understand that your countrymen, your government system are just people who take shits and dumps, have diarrhea, and who are up to corruption, just like the cheating ass neighbor down the street. They got problems too, although they pretend like they don't, and their problems are not moles, they are mountains. Mountains, and they aren't made into mountains, they are mountains. They are mentally unstable, they are mentally ill, and they got the power hungry gene inside them. And that is not what we need in leadership. We need people who are actually willing to be work, working individuals, the working class known as politicians. These people want to stand on their pedestal and talk about dreams. Go fuck yourself, Kamala Harris. Go fuck yourself, Biden, with your damn ice cream bullshit. You do know that that retaliation of a a campaign was to bring awareness that apple pie is the dessert of America. Johnny Appleseed. Biden is nothing more than a terrorist in a white man's body with a brain that can barely count to 10. Being guided by a Pakistani man who has a mouth of a bubble who literally talks with a mouthful of shit. He's got no power, he's got no, nothing going for himself, yet he pretends like he do, does. Notice how I'm speaking. Fuck you, Obama, you're a piece of shit, just like your little kids. Go take a look at what his children are up to in dissolving the black American. They look like fucking aliens, they act like fucking freaks, and they're dumb as rocks. Now your child is more, more educated than those two. Now, how does that make you feel when they're a priority? Because that is what it looks like for a hierarchy system of a Pakistani royalty fuckfaces. 
Understand that we are in a country of equality. He has tried to make this country unequal so that he can thrive and succeed by stealing from the American people and causing unrest across the globe for a global overthrow of an underbelly of destruction. So when we go into this debate tomorrow, we are going to be strong, we are going to be focused, and we're going to be very aware of the fact that Biden is utilizing um, AI tutelage and tools to destroy your minds, to destroy your families, to destroy your bank accounts. Don't forget about Sam Bankman and his association to the Obama and the Democrat system. Don't forget about all the shit that Obama has done. Because that is the same person that will be standing on the stage tomorrow night at 9 o'clock p.m. as a moron while the media tells you how wonderful he is and how sane he sounds. And guess what? That's the lie. The power of media, the power of corruption... No, it's the power of God to expose that shit so that we can overthrow this bullcrap and get back to our old way of living of American. MAGA, make America great again. And AOC, you can't steal that shit from us because we made that. You stole America from us and you ain't even American, you're Puerto Rican. You're obnoxious, you're grotesque, and you're disgusting and it's proof in yourself on a stage. You are very unprofessional and you are fired. And you all better take note of what I just said because you're the ones responsible for the fact that that bitch keeps getting put back in office. So we have to listen to her mouth. She ain't powerful. She ain't going to do you favors. She literally is out for herself and how she looks to an audience. She's a bartender. You think you got these people roped around your little finger? No, these people are just squishies moving from right to left to figure out who's in control. However, if you're a squishy, you ain't at the top, you're at the bottom. That's why leaders are leaders and you are followers because you don't know how to be a leader because there are bad people in this world and they're trying to make it, you believe that the bad people are good and the good people are bad. But I'm here to tell you that the good people are good and the leaders of this country will show you what brand is. That is the American way and the American dream, and we will live it with bravery, with unity, and with constant fight to take out your bullshit, to expose it to you, not just tell you about it, because you're delivering to us like a silver platter with everything we need to see to show us what you're actually up to. And we want to thank you for that. Thank you for showing us exactly what you're up to, California. Thank you so much for showing us, New York, what you're actually up to. And I want to say thank you to TikTok and all the platforms for showing us what the Kardashians are actually up to. It is very important to know that we are very, very getting very, very, very much more clear on everything that each and every one of you are up to. And it's a gross display of humanity. While you show us what your lives have really been like, which has been complete horror shows and not because of us. However, you put it on us as if it was our fault. No, because you are just shallow, dirty, and corrupt. And that's the brand of the internet, of the woman on the internet, of the Persian on the internet, of the Saudi Arabian on the internet, of the Middle Eastern on the internet. No one cares about what you have to say, little girl with the Bible between your legs. You are not a Jesus worshiper. You are fucking mentally ill and you're filming the whole process. I just want a man who's going to pray for me. Oh, I think that's evangelist money stealing, folks. That's how they did it with uh, Tammy Faye. Or whatever the hell their name are. Anywho, that's all I have for you on this. I got a little on a tangent. I was going to, well, I actually knew that I was going to speak to politics. But I wanted to really kind of bring into awareness game of, this, of a brand of weakness that d is disguised by strength. Because when you have a brand that isn't collaboratively working as a brand, there is chaos within the brand. They have complete chaos over there in the Democrats. No one agrees to anything. They don't know what they're doing. They're screaming and yelling on, on stages. They're sending um, people over into Donald Trump land when he's speaking at like Philadelphia, to irritate you. So if you're feeling irritation at a rally of MAGA, you want to know that that's Democrat. 
So that's the brand of a, of a Democrat is to irritate you and your responsibility as a Republican or as an American citizen, not even a Republican, just an American citizen, is to battle that, that energy inside you of irritation that they are branding on you. You know, like a brand on the back of a cow. You say, no, thank you. I'm here to listen and to hear what he has to say. And that's how politics actually works. Not forcing, they're forcing you into communism. That is why China, known as Singapore, is on our faces, in our faces, abusing us. We are Snapchatters. We are American. I just utilize a platform of TikTok to get the information to you because that is where everybody's attention is at this time. And I battle it by living in America while I'm on my TikTok account. Mark Zuckerberg, why I keep constantly bringing up his Snapchat. Not to mention his filters are way, way better than the TikTok. So Snapchat up here, TikTok filters down here. Take note, take note folks that TikTok is literally the, is behind in the times when it comes to filters. And most Mer Americans are actually working on Snapchat and TikTok. So who's in charge of the internet? Who's in charge of the internet folks? America is, because America is the land of the free and we also have boundaries and borders. So I hope everybody has a, a great afternoon. I'll be producing more content, as you know, um, at a speedy rate. So be ready for the ups and the downs because they are, they are on it. They were pissed off at me and I don't, I don't really care because my shit's the bomb. And that's what you want to understand about this brand is this brand is about educating and entertaining. And that's what you have to do when you are grounded in knowing thyself and knowing ethics and morals and values. The bad guys don't like it when you call them out on their shit. The bad guys don't like it because they get called out on their shit. The bad guys don't try to fix their shit. They try to fix shit in a way that's demonic of corruption to hide the shit. That's called out of integrity. Over here on this land, we're in integrity. We live in integrity. We're constantly regrouping and refueling integrity. If you understand that, you live a successful life. And Donald Trump is always working toward integrity because without integrity, nothing works. And we're a country of United States of America that is a brand that works. God bless America, land that I love. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.